Hi, Tim Goggin for Ringtone Studio for iPhone. I'm going to showcase the visual sound editing features of Ringtone Studio for iPhone. Right now I've just dragged the song file I want to use as a ringtone and all I'm going to do is play it. So I'm going to hear what I like in the file. Now that I've found that, I'm going to just basically scroll to where I want to, uh, the ringtone to end, and I'm going to uh, highlight everything else uh, that I want to highlight. And you can see it's just highlighted. I'm just going to do a quick preview of it. I'm happy with it. And uh, I'm going to now zoom in um, more and more granular so I can get the exact clip that I want to start with. You see there's a little bit of stuff at the front that really we don't need. So I have just highlighted to that point, and uh, it's a little too zoomed in at this point, so you'll see in a moment I'm going to zoom out so I can have a better view, but while I'm here I'm also uh, zooming, and okay, so I'm zooming out, zooming out, and when I get a good enough view, I'm done, I'm going to create that ringtone by pressing the Create Ringtone button. It's creating it for me. And you can see it's been created. I'm going to look in the Ringtones folder. Lo and behold, it's there. I'm going to play, and it's all done. Of course, once the ringtone is in the ringtones folder, the next time you sync your iPhone, it will automatically sync those ringtones to your iPhone, and then you can set them to the contacts of your choice.